Well, might be warm today, but it sure is going to feel a lot like fall when the temperatures drop again by the end of the work week. Let's bring in Way 31 meteorologist Grace Anello now for a closer look at frost, and it's all part of this week's Anello Answers It. Yes, Murray, thank you. It is. Well, this is that time of year where we're all asking, do I need to get out to the car a few minutes early to scrape some ice? Am I going to see some frost on the ground? Well, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to talk about what exactly the parameters are for getting that frost on the ground. Well, it all starts with our weather stations, and these are planted five feet above the ground. There's a thermometer at the top and a thermometer at the bottom. If that upper air temperature at five feet above surface, it measures 36 degrees Fahrenheit, that's our first ingredient for knowing that we're going to have frost that night. Of course, cold air is very dense, so it does sink down to the ground. And if at five feet we're at 36 degrees, that means that the surface will be at that magic number 32. Well, the other thing that we need is moist air. We really need moist air and moist soil. Of course, once we get to that freezing level, that means that those water droplets and molecules attach to those blades of grass, cars, and other super cooled surfaces, and they freeze instantly, giving us a little bit of a glaze of frost. Some of our key conditions include not only those um, cooler temperatures and that moist air, but also a light breeze and mostly clear skies because clouds would keep us warm and diminish us from reaching that 32 degrees. Well, here's our temperature outlook for our overnight lows in the next few days here in North Alabama. We won't have any frost likely for quite some time, but taking a look at Monday and Tuesday, it just might be a possibility. So in addition to needing the jacket, you might want to bring out the ice scraper for the car windshield too.